Oh boy, oh boy. Maybe this time we'll actually be able to get through this. Hopefully. Maybe. Probably. Poor bubbly. A polite invitation. This is like my fourth time watching this cutscene because I keep screwing up the recording. So. Hello, Miss Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. <laughs> Call needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Warner Brothers... Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's Some perfectly dots. understandable, Mr. Jack. All of I the hope dots. I hope you can handle less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. You Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about- There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm gonna run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's gonna get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? So when you when you're thinking guy's making $150 a month and he's an insurance investigator, like he's he's not he, he must be making a pretty decent Thanks amount for of the patch cash. up, Princess. It might be the only R and R I get for some time. Please stop calling everyone princess, it's weird. Anyway, he's 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 not making bank by any means, but you know he's making a pretty decent amount of money, at one hundred and fifty dollars a month. But like, whenever you talk about giving someone fifty bucks or something, that's a third of this guy's salary. Fifty dollars is a lot. Hey. Oh man, we just gotta make it all the way across town, don't we? Oof. Sometimes I wonder, you know, maybe maybe while I'm playing as Kelso, I should just go ahead and skip to my destination because 
It's not like I'm missing any sort of conversation. Like, it's not fair. I want a partner, damn it. It's too bad Cole and, and Kelso won't partner together. It'll be awesome. Yeah. Two Marines going on a big adventure. A big old adventure. I didn't see a road. I mean, I'm sure I'm just dumb. I'm sure it was there, but I didn't see it. There we go. Curtis Benson apartment. I actually really like this guy's apartment. I totally live here. So pretty. That's apartment one. Apartment two. Remember me? Jack! It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that. oh shit. Castle's going rogue. Still managed to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Man, to be able to knock your boss the fuck out. All right. What are we looking for? <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's a big chess piece. Hello. Ooh, ooh, what's this? I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. What exactly do you now expect to why. find, Jack? Oh, to get all boy. of the stockholders, I need to follow the paper trail. The paper trail. There's a paper trail. Two thousand. Another two thousand. Certifies that this guy. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. And of course, it's freaking impossible to read. I can't make out anything on cursive. I hate it a lot. And I'm glad that we're not pushing it super hard like we used to. I know that upsets some people, but whatever. I really don't care. All right. Interview Curtis Ben. What exactly real, do you This guy has. Um, oh. How old are you, Princess? Oh. Sixteen, Mister. Oh. How old are you really? Nearly thirteen. Um. You take love where you can find it as you get old. Love. That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. Um, that remains to be seen, Jack. Um, I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Get dressed. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. 
He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. <laughs> He's kind. And he buys me nice things. Get dressed, you're leaving. <laughs> she will only come back. Okay, I still have time to interview him, thank goodness. Seriously though, he has a nice freaking place. I would totally live here. Like, dang dude. Anyway, I'm glad I can still interview him. I was really worried there for a second that I had screwed this up. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Though. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. Dear boy. You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? Um. I noticed that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those company. sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're Sorry. going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. We'll see about that, Jack. Is this apartment not good enough for you, dude? Because I'll totally take it off your hands if it's not. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? It, 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 was, it was on your desk. Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lickman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? Give me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. Dang. That's a threat if I ever did see one. Onward to California Fire and Life. Oh, man. Yeah. Burp tasted funny. Not like a ha ha funny kind of way, though. California, fire and life. The last time I ever visit this place. I'm just going up to my office party. Got to check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. 
Do I know the way? Because I clearly went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, that looks like a beauty. Oof. I went the wrong way big time. I understand you, but thousands wouldn't. So, are you gonna see your married man? Um. Oh, first on my think. right. No. No. I got a call back that you Oh. Okay, I guess it's further up. Hell, I don't He's know. He's dull as dishwater, but I'm not with him for the conversation. Let's hope this thing goes up. Here we are. Lloyd Connor. That's not my name. Harry Zelinsky? That's not my name either. Jack Kelso, there we go. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, and we'll get back to this next time. Okay, bye.